Welcome to Bronte with Model Railway. I thought I'd do a quick video looking at these uh, two models from the Hornby Centenary range. Uh, one of them is the Smokey Joe R3822 and there's the R3823 Merton, the new Terrier. I got my first train set in 1981 so for me looking at the Centenary range it was really these two models that uh, would bring back the uh, happy memories. The packaging I think especially on them uh, very evocative of the uh, packaging used uh, on model railways when uh, when I was uh, a child and first getting into the hobby. Turn to pages 12 and 13 of the Hornby 2020 catalogue. There's a full description of the uh, new models. Uh, the text here is actually the exact same text that's used inside the box lids. So uh, if you don't have a read at that, either have a look at the catalogue or uh, pause the video at this point uh, to read the full descriptions. Looking first of all at Merton, and she's presented in this late 1990s style top link packaging. Hornby at this point we're trying to appeal to more adult collectors and we're starting to supply more detailed models. I quite like this packaging, I think it is quite reminiscent of uh, the uh, packaging of the period, uh, but at the same time it does a premium feel and uh, does present the, uh, the model, what is a collector's uh, model really, uh, in a very attractive way got the text inside the box but as I say it is exactly the same as what you get in the catalogue the limited edition uh, certificate if you're into that sort of thing and we've got the uh, instructions uh, explaining how to fit DCC uh, which I, I will have to do before I can run this uh, model on uh, on my layout it's a six pin DCC chip I use the Hornby one and uh, it was a, a really easy installation just a couple of screws underneath and it just plugged straight on in there Time to try and get the model out of the box now. It's uh, quite a tight fit in uh, in here. I think they could have made this a little bit easier to open. Uh, but there she is. Looks uh, very nice and very well protected in this uh, packaging. Sort of a standard ice block uh, inside the, uh, the grey foam. Small detail pack with uh, brake hoses. And there she is, a very attractive model and I think the detail on this one is a lot finer uh, than on the old uh, DAPO model. Lovely printing on the side there. One of the buffers does seem to have fallen off uh, in the box, I'll have to get a dab of glue and uh, pop that back on. Just put that to one side for now so we don't lose it. Got the Westinghouse air brake pump on this side. And again, lots and lots of uh, nice fine details. I've popped her down onto the track now so we can see her in a natural environment. I do think it's a very interesting colour. I do like engines in uh, unusual colours. Described as improved engine green. Colour devised by Stroudley, the chief uh, engineer of the uh, London Brighton South Coast Railway, who was uh, colour blind, which probably explains quite a bit. The name on this loco, Merton, uh, inspired by the uh, area in Margate where the Hornby factory uh, is based. Very nice cab detail, you can see the wood planking on the floor, and uh, just about to see some of the gauges in there. Turning to Smokey Joe now, we'll have a, a quick look at this model. It's introduced into the Hornby range in 1983 and it's been in the catalogue pretty much ever since then. It was introduced originally as a uh, budget uh, locomotive. And it still pretty much uh, performs that function. I think uh, most people who've uh, had a model railway have had one of these at uh, some point or other. Uh, the boxes on this one is nowhere near as impressive as Merton's. It's pretty much the uh, standard uh, polystyrene box uh, with a slightly prettier uh, retro cardboard outer sleeve. Uh, we do get uh, some crew with this one, the uh, same crew that Hornby have been uh, dishing out for many years, the driver and fireman in the bag there. Uh, no further extra detailing of course on uh, on this locomotive. I'll just uh, pop those back in the box. Not sure whether we'll be fitting those or not. Let's ease the model out of the uh, box. And there she is. Very nice. You can see lots of extra detail added over this uh, version compared with the standard 
Smoker Joe, the gloss paint, the extra handrails, extra details picked out on the smoke box and on the buffer beams. And a very nice uh, job of the uh, livery application, I think. When I was a child, I had this model in the Caledonian uh, railway livery, so I haven't actually got a Smoky Joe to compare it with. We'll just have a quick look at the uh, photo in the uh, Hornby Book of Trains, The First Hundred Years by Pat Hammond, their centenary celebratory book. Uh, you can see uh, how much plainer the uh, livery is and uh, some of the missing details uh, in this photo. Here's Smoky Joe on the rail alert. I won't be uh, fitting uh, with DCC. It's not uh, DCC ready. I think you can just about uh, fit it if you're that way inclined, but uh, I think uh, she'll be spending uh, her time in the display case as more of a collector's item uh, rather than uh, out and about pulling trains. Just a quick comparison here between uh, the replica box on Smokey Joe and an original 1980s Hornby box. I think they've done a pretty good job actually of uh, capturing uh, the essence of uh, the packaging from the time. It certainly brings back a few memories of my childhood, although I do wish uh, you could still buy a model train for £10.49. Those were the days. Just a quick size comparison here between uh, the Hornby Terrier and uh, the Backman E4 class. Um, really does show that this is uh, a very small loco and that's even clearer when uh, seen from above. The uh, length difference is particularly notable here. The combination of their small size and the sharp bark from their exhaust note is the origin of their uh, terrier name. Fit to the DCC chips, now time to see how she runs. I think this is quite a, a good slow crawl and this is straight out of the box without uh, any running in at all. Quite a small size, not uh, struggling at all with these uh, five large bogey coaches. So it's just a quick look at these uh, two new models, the R3822 Smokey Joe, which uh, was a limited edition of 2000 uh, with a recommended retail price of 39.99, and the R3823 London Brighton South Coast Railway Terrier Merton, which was a limited edition of 1000 and uh, had a recommended retail price of £104.99.